Hi there, Lauren here from Restore 316. This tutorial is going to be about how to create an RSS driven campaign in MailChimp. And for those of you who aren't sure what an RSS campaign is, I thought I would explain that really quick. To put it very simply, um, an RSS campaign is a campaign that you create one time and then anytime you do a new blog post on your website, that email will automatically send out so you don't have to go in and create new campaigns every time you do a new blog post. So this is really great for your readers who want to get email updates on every new blog post that you do. So this is um, a really great feature. A lot of people do this and so we have a lot of people that ask us how to go about doing this. And recently MailChimp made some changes to their website and so the process of doing this is just a little bit different and so we are going to walk through that process today. So first and foremost you will need a MailChimp account in order to set this up in this uh, particular tutorial. You can do this with other services like ConvertKit and, and those sort of um, companies, but in this tutorial we're going to be covering just MailChimp. So you will need an account with MailChimp. It is free up to 2,000 subscribers, so if you have less than 2,000 subscri subscribers this is going to be completely free for you. So you'll want to have an account and the next thing that you want is to have a list. We have to create a list um, in order to send our campaign to. So the first thing you'll do when you log in is go to list up here at the very top and you'll see that I already have a list created. This is um, from years and years ago for us, but we're, I'm going to just walk through the process of creating a list to show you what that looks like. So up at the top right of the screen, I'm going to click create list and then this little box comes up and in, the, in this case, I just want to hit create list. And then this screen is going to come up and I am just going to start filling out the details. I'm going to give my list a name and so in most cases this is going to be maybe your business name or if you want to create a specific list just for your RSS you can name that accordingly. But in my case I'm just going to name it our business name. The default from email address is going to be um, your main email address that you use and this is the email that every time that campaign gets sent out that um, email this is the email address that it will come from. So ours is hello at restore316.com and then our default from name um, you can use your personal name or you can use your business name that's completely up to you. I'll just go ahead and put restore316 there. And then in this next field, it says remind people how they signed up to your list. Um, they just want to make sure that you fill this out. And so I typically just use what we see down there in that example and put you are receiving this email because you've opt opted in on our website. So let me type that in. Okay. And then it will automatically um, show uh, an address on any newsletter. I'm not going to go into too much detail on that in this video tutorial, but that is always required. And when you create your MailChimp account, that is automatically set up there. And so once this uh, list is filled out and created, you'll hit save at the bottom. I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because I've already, I already have my list created, but that is the process of creating your list. So once you do that, you can go on to the next step and that is actually creating your campaign. So I'm going to go up to the top left and I'm going to hit campaigns and then I'm going to hit create campaign. And from this window, I'm going to um, hit this button, create an email. And then it wants me to give my campaign a name. Actually, no, we want to hit automated at the top. We don't want to send a regular old campaign in this instance. We want it to be an automated campaign and then we want it to be this share blog updates option here on the right. So now we're going to give our campaign a name. So I'm just going to type in uh, Restore 316 RSS so that I know that when I look at this campaign stats, um, I'll be able to see um, all the stats just on this RSS campaign. So then from our list, we just want to make sure that our list is created um, and selected in this dropdown. And then I'm going to hit begin. And then on this next screen, we'll have to fill in our RSS feed URL. And so your URL for your RSS is always going to be your web address. Oops, designs.com slash feed at the end. And so your, your RSS feed URL will always be that if you're on WordPress. OK, 
okay? And then I'm gonna select when I want it to send. I want mine to send every day at 10 a.m. Central Time. And then I can choose the days here that I want it to send. So for example, if I just want those emails to go out Monday through Friday and not on the weekends, I can uncheck that. So to give you um, a little example of this is if I write a blog post on Friday at 2 o'clock p.m., um, because we've already passed the 10 o'clock a.m. threshold of the day, that next campaign would not be sent out until the following Monday at 10 a.m. So it just depends on how you have your day selected and when that blog post gets kicked out for when it will actually send out in your campaign. Then I'm gonna select this option here to resize my RSS feed images to fit my template. And that is just so our images that we've uploaded in our post, if we are uploading some rather large images, they won't um, exceed the width of our template here in MailChimp and look all crazy in the emails when they get sent out. So um, we're done here. So I'm gonna click on next on the bottom right of our screen. And then on this, page, we can choose whether to send it to our entire list or a segment or a group. Um, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to choose the entire list in this example. If you want to do some further research on creating segments and groups within MailChimp, you're more than welcome to do that. But I'm going to select the entire list and I'm going to click next. And now here, it's gonna have um, a lot of this already filled out for us, but we can come in and customize any of this if you want to tweak it. Um, but in this case, it looks like everything is filled out and looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Now in this page, we're gonna choose the template that we want to use for this campaign. If you are just getting started with MailChimp, chances are you don't have um, a template already created. If you have an established account, you can always use the template that you've been using. Um, but in this case, I typically like to use this basic one column layout for an RSS campaign, just because I could just upload my logo at the top, keep my newsletter format really simple, and that the content of the blog post is really um, what is front and center of those emails. And so in this case, I'm just gonna click on this box and it's gonna take us to the next screen. And then this is where we're gonna do a little bit of customizing, and so, um, this is a little bit hard to explain um, written, so in this blog post I wanted to actually show this part of it. Um, and so what we're gonna do is add an RSS header and this whole screen is drag and drop. So I'm just gonna click on things and I'm gonna drag it over to our actual newsletter template. So I'm gonna click on this RSS header and I'm gonna click over and drag it over here and I'm gonna make sure that it's appearing in the body. You see how it's blue? Um, I wanna make sure that it's in the body of my newsletter. So I'm gonna drop that in. And from this drop down, I'm just gonna choose basic for this example. If you want to play with these other options, you're more than welcome. This just adds a little bit more info um, to the top of your newsletter. And so this is just the title of your um, RSS feed and the description of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit save and close at the bottom. And then now I'm gonna drag in my RSS items. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna drag it right below that RSS header that we did. And then from this drop down, we can choose whether we want to show just excerpts. So this way it just shows a little snippet of the blog post and then in order to read more, they have to click on the read on button and it would take them directly to your website. You can also use this drop down menu to show um, the full content um, or however you want it formatted. You can play with that um, depending on your needs. Um, just a note on this too, you do not have to have this option. If you just simply want it to be the blog post, you can. This is just the title of your RSS feed, so it's just kind of a reminder to people who is sending them an email. Um, you can also upload your own logo here at the top. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial, but you'll just click browse and select the graphic from your computer and you would upload it there. And then in this case, I want to delete this bottom part because this was already there by default. And so I'm just gonna put my mouse over it and choose the trash can icon and delete that block. And that should be good for our newsletter besides um, 
the header, which I'm not going to show here. Um, you can also change some of the styles here in this um, view. If you go to the design tab, you can change colors and fonts and borders and all kinds of stuff if you want to have fun designing your newsletter. So those are all options for you. And then once you're done on this screen and you have everything the way that you want it to be, you will click next and it will bring you to a confirmation page and everything looks good here and then you would hit start RSS in the bottom right hand of the screen. I'm not going to do that in this case because this is an old MailChimp account for us. We're with another service. So um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If any of this is confusing or you have any questions at all on this, don't hesitate to get in touch and let us know.